Hi there, my name's Lon with Rock Top Construction. I'm here in Utah on a beautiful spring day. And I wanna talk a little bit about what people usually ask when they're talking about replacing the roof. A lot of times they wanna know what's it gonna cost and what can I expect? So right now I wanna talk about what you can expect when your roof is gonna be replaced. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a dumpster in front of the house. You wanna make sure your vehicles are out of the way before we do that. Uh, it's hard to get somebody to come back and move it afterwards. Um, as you can hear, there's gonna be a lot of noise you can expect it to be a construction site for a while. And uh, there's some safety concerns there too that you need to be aware of for yourself, children, pets, etc. cetera. Um, the kinds of nails and caps we use, the caps are about the size of a quarter and they make the nails face straight up. So when we're doing a tear off, uh, those are gonna be everywhere. We'll pick them up with a magnet at some point, but you need to be extra careful when you come out. You might look at your feet, be cautious at first, and then you start noticing what's happening up above and you might forget. So you need to be very, very careful. It's also uh, a risk for tires too, if, uh, if that isn't uh, cleaned up before you move your vehicles. All right, we've already talked a little bit about safety. Now let's talk about what you can expect when you get your roof replaced. You got your dumpster out there and there's more to a roof than shingles. It's actually a system. So a good roofer is gonna tear everything off that's on that roof down to the wood, inspect the wood, make sure the decking's good. If you see water stains, there's probably a problem there. You wanna replace any wood that is problematic before you put on the underlayments. Now, synthetic underlayment is, is the code underlayment that you wanna use. It's replaced uh, tar and felt paper, which are not as good. There's different thicknesses and qualities of underlayments. If you're in a place where there's inclement weather like here with winters, there's a thicker product called ice and water that you want to cover the eaves and rakes at least three feet inside of the warm wall. And if it's low pitch, you want the ice and water over everything. But the synthetic at the bare minimum, and it's a little bit like Gore-Tex. It can allow some moisture out, but not in. <clears throat> After you do the underlayments, that's when you put on the shingles. Uh, you're gonna have to have the flashing around chimneys. You're gonna have to have the uh, pipes with the new boots, uh, rubber boots replaced, so they'll last a lot longer with the dry rotting. Um, you wanna include all the ventilation systems that you're gonna be using, whether that's ridge vent across the top, my favorite, or the turtle vents or box vents, whirly birds. You want all that stuff sealed in properly before you put the shingles on. Now, of course, there's also different kinds of shingles. The uh, older style, the pattern of those is called three tab. It's kind of like a brick pattern. Uh, they're still available, but most often people are putting up what they call architectural shingles, which is what you see here. There are other fancy styles like presidential and others that you can look at. And there honestly, there's at least five really good quality brands of shingles that have uh, 30, 50 lifetime warranties. So keep in mind, those warranties are only good if the shingles are properly installed. That's the manufacturer warranties. On this roof here, we have the uh, architectural style shingles. The last thing I wanna talk about in today's video, a common question is, how long is my roof gonna take? A lot of times, um, the expectations are it could be quite a while, but it really, as in any other industry, when that question is asked, the, the answer is, it depends. What does it depend on? It depends on the size of the roof. It depends on the time of year, and we could do roofs year round, but in the winter, the days are shorter. Um, it might depend on temperatures, but it also depends on the size of the crew and the complexity of the roof. This roof doesn't have, have a lot of cuts and valleys and dormers. It's fairly simple. It's going to go faster. If there's a four-man crew, you can expect a tear-off and underlayment put down in one day. Now remember the underlayments, the synthetic protection, you can, once you have those underlayments down, you can have a storm. It could be rain or snow and the house is already sealed in and protected. We can come back a few days later after the snow's melted off and then put on the shingles. The shingles might take a day on a simple roof with a good sized crew, but some jobs could take a little bit over a week. It depends on the size and complexity of the roof. 
All right, thank you for watching today. I hope this video helped answer some questions about what to expect with a roof replacement. Again, my name is Lon Bombar with Rock Top Construction here in Utah. If you have any more questions, look at our link below, contact us and give us a thumbs up if this helps. Thanks.